Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of Cooking with Chef Aaron. This time, we're going to be setting foot in Oceania for the third time as we explore the country of uh, New Zealand. Now, I'm going to start this review off by talking about the uh, largest city in the country, which is called uh, Auckland. And uh, as you can see here, um, it's very futuristic, uh, kind of similar to uh, what we would find in uh, Central Asia, like with uh, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, it's kind of like that, it's very futuristic. And um, you can kind of see that the main tower kind of looks similar to the CN Tower, like here in Canada. And uh, it's very nice the way it is, um, though I like uh, Canada more, I like Toronto more. But this is a pretty good city. It's very nice and blue, very nice and futuristic. I like it a lot. It's uh, very captivating to look at. And I'm going to talk about the uh, capital city of New Zealand now, which is called uh, Wellington. And uh, as you can see, it's not quite as built up, and it's not really quite as modern or futuristic. It doesn't really have that sort of vibe to it. Um, it's sort of just an okay city. I don't really care for it that much, but it's still good. It's not too shabby of a city. And uh, to wrap up this review, I'm going to talk about the uh, rural parts of New Zealand now. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of nice uh, glacier mountains here and uh, a lot of nice rivers. It's very colorful, very scenic. really like it a lot. It's good. And that's just what I've got to say about it. And overall, I think I would probably have to give the country of New Zealand a, a B-. minus. Now, without further ado, let's head, up to my, uh, let's head down to my kitchen and uh, we'll teach you how to make the... Uh, Tropical pork burgers. Follow me, please. Okay, so in order to make the tropical pork burgers from New Zealand, the ingredients you will need are as follows. We have um, in this bowl over here, we have uh, 400 grams of uh, pork, and we have five teaspoons of a uh, Montreal steak spice, two tablespoons of reserved uh, pineapple juice, and we have some pineapple slices over here that we're going to be placing on our burgers and grilling. And we have some uh, red onions as a garnish, some lettuce as a garnish. We have uh, a quarter cup of uh, chopped parsley and uh, three spring onions uh, chopped. And uh, we are going to start assembling the uh, burger patties uh, right now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is, uh, in a small stainless steel bowl, you're going to take your uh, pork, you're going to add it to your bowl. And to this, you're going to combine it with uh, your onions. Your spring onions, those are your uh, parsley, your uh, Montreal steak spice, and your uh, pineapple juice. And what you're going to do is you're going to mix it all around, and uh, once you've uh, got a good uh, consistency, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so once you've reformed your uh, pork mixture, um, it's going to look something like this. Um, as you can see, it's all blended nice and evenly. You can see the parsley and the uh, spring onions very well. So now what we're going to do um, is we're going to um, try to make our uh, pork patties. Okay, so the important thing you want to do beforehand um, is you want to take some oil and you just want to grease the sides of your uh, hamburger patty maker. So as you can see, I'm doing as follows right over here. So just got to make sure this is brushed uh, all around nice and evenly. And uh, once that is done, you are ready to um, uh, take uh, some pork and just sort of freeform it around the edges. And uh, once I have uh, assembled a patty, I will uh, show you the finished product. Uh, and I'll see you then. All right, and as you can see, I have uh, created my uh, patty. It's now lying on uh, the uh, on, on a nice barbecue tray. And you want to make sure before placing it on a barbecue tray that the tray is greased uh, with uh, cooking oil as well, because uh, otherwise, if you don't do this. Um, the burgers will fall apart um, when you flip them and you're going to want to flip them on both sides and cook for 10 minutes when the time comes. So I'm going to make more uh, patties and uh, once that's done um, we'll be ready to put these on the grill and I'll see you all then. Okay and as you can see here we are outside. Uh, we just got our uh, backyard uh, renovated. We see our pond right here. We now have a little garden there and uh, we are now per cooking my uh, pork burgers. And uh, you just got to let these uh, heat on both sides for uh, 10 minutes and uh, afterwards uh, we'll move on to the next step. Oh and another thing, uh, you want to make sure your uh, buns are on the grill as well. Make sure they're on the opposite side as your uh, burgers here because uh, you don't want to burn your buns so uh, you just want them to heat up. And um, once that's done we'll move on to the next step. Okay so uh, once you've uh, cooked your uh, hamburgers on uh, both sides they should look something like this. and. Uh, when you get to the stage, you're ready to take them off and place them on uh, these buns over here. And uh, 
Once that's done, we're going to take these pineapple slices and we're going to apply them to the grill and we're going to let them cook on a low heat for um, approximately a two minutes. And I'll see you then. Okay, so now that our patties are off the grill, what we're going to do now is we're going to put our pineapple slices on the grill and we're just going to let them grill on a low heat for two minutes. You don't want these to sit on the grill for too long because obviously you don't want these to burn. But yes, so we're just going to do this and I'll see you all then when they're done. Okay, and once you've uh, grilled your pineapple slices, they should look something like this. And you want to place them back on your burger, and you just want to chop them off with the uh, top buns. And uh, now we're going to do a taste test, and I'll tell you what I think of it. Okay, let's see what I think of this. This is very good. I can taste the pineapple juice very well. Nice and spicy. It's delicious. It has a very nice um, ocean feel to it. Okay, and this is the finished product served on our plates. Uh, and as you can see, I've garnished my uh, burger with uh, some onions and lettuce, and we've also served it with some nachos and salsa. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode.